Hey guys, welcome to another Squarespace tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about making um, the folders redirect to a different page. Right now, by default, if you go to like about and you click on about, it'll take you to the first um, page inside of there, which is about us. So for example, if I'm on the home page and instead of clicking on about us, if I just click on about, it'll take me to the about us page, which is how Squarespace has it set to work. And it works for most people, but um, some people want, you know, this to, for example, the services, instead of going to service one, they want, you know, a service page that shows all their services, um, to be the first thing people see when they click on services. So before what people used to do is use this code. So basically this says, you know, when somebody clicks on about, take them to slash test and they would have, or like, you know, whatever URL and it used to work. But, um, last week Squarespace, unfortunately fixed quote unquote, um, fixed it. So it's no longer working. Um, so what we have to do now is use jQuery instead, and I'm just going to give you the code for that. Um, since I can't show you the code in the video, I mean, I'll, I'll show it to you, but it's hard for you to copy it. I'll put it in a blog post and put the uh, link in the description down below. Um, so check that out as well. But, um, what we're going to do is first take out the code from here. Um, cause it's no, no longer doing anything. So why even have that it just looks messy. Um, so let's go to settings, advanced code injection. So the code for you will look like this. I'm just going to take the comments out so it'll work now. So what the first thing we're doing is calling the jQuery library so we can actually use jQuery on the website. Um, if you already have um, a line similar to this, you won't have to add it again. It'll just load the library twice and there's no need for that. Um, so you would only need this part. But if you don't have that, copy this whole code in. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to wait for the document to load and then it's going to look for header nav folder title, which is actually... If I right click inspect source, um, right here, header nav folder title. And right now this is linking to about. So the, uh, the word about is linking to the page about. So what we're going to do is change the href to whatever we want. So header nav folder title is a class. So we're telling it, look for that class and equals zero just means it's going to be the first folder you come across. So zero is the first folder. Um, I have two folders, so I'll show you how to, you know, modify it later, but so this will go to the first folder and we're going to take the property called href, which is, you know, the link that it goes to, and we're going to change it from about to projects. So slash projects. So now if I hit save and I go back, um, just keep an eye on the bottom left here. That's where it'll show, you know, where the link is going to go to. So if I click on uh, like not even click, if I hover over about, you'll see that in the bottom left, it says slash projects now. And if I actually click on about, it'll take me to the projects page, which doesn't exist. So it'll go here. Um, so let me now show you if you have multiple uh, folders at the top. So let's say you don't want about to change. You want services. So if somebody clicks about, it should go to about us. But if somebody clicks services, it should go to like slash services. You would just change this to one. So that's the, the second folder. So not about, but services. And we're going to change this to, for example, test. So we'll hit save. Now, if I hover over about, you'll see in the bottom left that it says about, and it actually takes us to the about us page, which is, you know, uh, the default behavior. But if somebody clicks on services, instead of going to service one, it'll take them to slash test, which doesn't exist because I haven't made the page, but it does work. Um, now, what if you want to take, uh, use both of them? So you want about to go to somewhere else and services to go somewhere else. You actually just need to copy this middle line right here. Um, all of this, you know, we can say once the page is done loading, do both this and this. So we're going to do add zero. So that's the first folder, add zero. And this is uh, the second folder. So this is going to go to about test and this is going to go to services test just so you can see that it is working. So if I just again, keep a look, keep an eye out on the bottom left here. So if I go to about, it shows about test and services shows services test. Okay, so that's how you do it. And um, it should like, you see how we're using header nav folder title that should work for everything in the Brian family. Um, there are, you know, other templates out there, of course. So you might be using, um, one of these other templates. Also, if you are on the Brian family, you can actually stop watching the video now because the rest of this won't be relevant to you. Um, but let's say you're using one of the other, other templates, right? All you have to do is basically, um, let me go to Bedford Squarespace just so I can kind of show you what I would do. So for example, let's say you're using Bedford, which is another template, uh, preview Bedford, uh, view demo desk, demo site. Okay. So, uh, they have a folder here. So about, so all you would do is you go, you go to your website, you would find your folder in the navigation. 
you would right click it and then click on inspect. And then right here is yours. So um, it looks like in Bedford, it's called folder. So it's just, just folder. Um, so you would actually have to uh, target folder toggle um, just because if you look at it, the link is associated with here. So it all has to be on the same line. So, um, you know, data ref is equal to this. So you want to click on folder toggle and that's what you want to use in the code right here. So in between the quotes, leave the period at the beginning because that means, you know, it's a class and then you paste this and then equal one and that would pick the first um, folder. Now it should work. If it doesn't, uh, if you find a template that it, this doesn't work on, just, you know, comment down below and I'll uh, find the code for that and then I'll um, paste it as a comment or I'll just uh, update the blog post as needed. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps. If it does, uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe uh, for more tutorials and I'll see you next time.